the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the place where the Kaaba was established according to some narrations by Adam according to some by the different prophets Asiratul Nabawiyya fi Dawi al-Masadir al-Asliya in this book this researcher he says he quoted about 14 different times the Kaaba was built in the time of Abraham, Ibrahim, he erected the house and he made a dua and he says, Rabbi, make this house one that is beloved. The people's heart will love this place. Every time you go to Makkah, you feel tranquil and peace. And when you leave Makkah, you feel homesick, subhanAllah. So they're going to leave this land of the Kaaba and they were going to go to Medina. They got away, Abu Bakr, when he heard that Rasulullah is taking him as well, he cried. Aisha radiallahu anha says, I have never seen a man crying so much. He was so happy. He spent 11 days with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on this hijrah. And he spent his whole life before Jahiliyyah. And he spent his whole life 13 years in Makkah. And he spent the other 10 years in Madinah. Entire every single night, Abu Bakr radiallahu an would come to the house of Aisha, to the house of uh, Rasulullah, and he would be speaking to Muhammad al be peace for hours and hours at a time. He was drinking from the fountain of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He would give interpretations of dreams in the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He would voice his opinion in the courts of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi will approve of his judgment he was amazing Abu Bakr made the hijrah and they hid in the cave Asma used to bring the food and Abdullah used to collect the intelligence around him from the Quraysh and bring it in the night Ibn Fuhaira used to hide their footsteps in the tracks of the footsteps back and fro from the cave and they spent three days Kufar searched everywhere Quraysh Makkah, the Quraysh of Makkah, they searched everywhere and it was the custom that they, they let's say the, the Madinah is that way, they went this way, Ghar Thawr, Quraysh sent in every single place, they hid in the cave that is called Thawr, Abu Bakr saw the, foot, the footsteps of these men, the Kufar, and he said, Ya Rasulullah, whispering in his ear, if they were to come and only look down like this, they will see us. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, If yaqulu li sahibihi, if yaqulu li sahibihi, la tahzan inna allaha ma'ana. He said to his companions, chill out. Have a calm head. Don't be sad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us, Lord. Can you imagine soldiers of Allah can be the water, subhanAllah. Soldiers of Allah can be like Fir'aun, they were drowned. Soldiers of Allah can be an ant, uh, a mosquito. Soldiers of Allah may be the earth, like swallowed up Karun. Soldiers of Allah can be like the pebbles in Abraha. When they came to smash the Kaaba, pebbles, wind shooting them like bullets. Like grenades, like M16 bullets. Tremendous power from Rabbul Alameen. Small pebbles, massive force, squash the whole army of Abraha, the wind of Ad and Samud, lightning. Look at in the cave when you have true tawakkul, sidqu i'timad al qal, truthfulness and your true reliance in Rabbul Alameen in whatever your fears may be look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the strongest of the two narrations a spider's web the man goes from, from Quraysh if they were in there the spider web would not be there and the narration of the pigeon is, is more weaker it's weaker than this one Look at this kalam. A spider web is a soldier of Allah. Today we have mobiles. 
Today we have end power. Today we have BT lines. Today we have auto. Today we have Lamborghini. Today we have flats of everything. We have trains and planes. We have clothing and cloak. We have food. Millions of Muslims are dying in every part of the dunya. And you have everything and there is no trust. When we have a muscular, we go with our palms. When we have a problem, we go to the Darbar. When we have a problem, we travel to Pakistan. When we have a problem, we go to the Sufi Baba. Subhanallah, what a nation of shirk, Subhanallah. Where are the men of Tawheed? Who are the men of Tawheed? You don't need to stick your finger out. You need to check your heart and ensure that your heart is beating right and you are not a living dead in the face of Birmingham. You don't want to be another face in the crowd of Birmingham. You want to be like Abu Bakr, strong Iman, strong personality. You want to be the man who is the best in taqwa. You want to be the man who is courageous. You want to be the man who is, he is generous. You want to be the man who is God-fearing. You want to be the man who is likable and approachable. You want to be the man who is more honorable and noble in the sight of Allah. You want to be one who is kind and humble and polite, compassionate. You want to be virtuous, noble, truthful, pious, generous, charitable, social relations, help your masjid, respond to the call of donations. You want to be the man who is spending your life in the way of Allah. You want to have to, you want to be the one who has great aspirations and you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will be in the service of Al-Islam and you will meet Abu Bakr in Jannah. You may not recognize Abu Bakr because we will be the height of Adam which is 60 arms length in the sky, maybe 15, 20 times this building. You may never recognize Abu Bakr but you will know Abu Bakr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Accept from us our humble efforts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and have mercy on us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to see the tariqh al khulafa the history of the companions, something that is imperative and important. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us parents to teach our children. If we don't teach our children, then they will become jahil. And they're gonna love David Beckham. And Madonna. And they're gonna love Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's the man name. So we need to teach our children the affairs of Abu Bakr, the affairs of Omar, and the affairs of Uthman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us our humble efforts whatever good i said it is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whatever evil i said it is from my nafs and i ask you for forgiveness it is my first time here and i'm really pleased my man brought me here in two hours if i had a camel it would make, take me five days this is from the fault of allah and the brother who brought me his name is asgar means a small one if he brought me here in two hours maybe the one who is akbar brings me here Half an hour. <laughs> this is from the Fadl of Allah. I'm very, very pleased to meet you guys.